and stuff. <laughs> no wonder they gotta go to water. <laughs> Why is it so cold? It's freaking yeah, freaking dry, but it is cold today, man. But it's gonna warm up 55 today. <laughs> They're coming to water. You better be ready down there. I'll see y'all. sitting here for about three hours and haven't seen a single thing. I had to give water a try. You guys all know I cannot stand just sitting in one place because I probably have ADD or something. Ben's got a Havelina tag and there's probably, I don't know, there's a handful right over there that have been loud all morning. I haven't seen a single deer, so we're going to switch things up. I sat this. I've been sitting here all morning. This has been the juice spot and it hasn't, it hasn't fared well for me. This is my last day in Arizona to try to get something. I heard you thump it. Ah, there's one thing I love in life. It's a good spot and stock, especially on a pig. I've never, never hunted these things. Didn't get to because I didn't buy a tag for them. I still find this really weird. In my head, you know when you have to have like a lot of confidence in something? Those pigs were so loud this morning, like 50 to 100 yards away from me, so loud. It had to been, it seems like that would kind of make a deer a little bit more alert. Okay, there we go. Alright. Okay, there's some more right there. That's it. Okay, well, he's done. I tell you what, man, these things are pretty rancid smelling. These suckers ruined my morning hunt. So, Ben decided to fill a tag. I will say, Havelina got some crazy looking mouths. Bad breath, dude. Bad, no, it smells pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it smells, it smells like booty. Okay, well, on a good note, at least we did put a successful spot in stock down on a Havelina. First one I've seen actually shot, to be honest with you. They smell way worse than feral hogs in Texas, like way worse. Yeah, so this morning I was sitting on this pond like you guys know, but I was over there, but these things were so freaking loud. Eric, would that have screwed up deer hunting pretty bad? You know, with all the commotion of the crows and these guys fighting, it's not a good thing, for sure. And I think with all the commotion, the deer would come in and be super nervous because when you get something like that, you're drawing in predators. Not only these guys, but coyotes and stuff too. Definitely wasn't in my favor this morning, but this afternoon we're going to be doing... What, do you, what are we doing this afternoon? What do you guys want to do? I think we should go check and see if there's dead other water. It's got... It's got water in it down there. Okay. So, uh, we don't have a clue what we're doing this afternoon still. <laughs> cut it up. Dude, don't touch this. Eric just wants, I think he just wants to touch it. That's the problem. He likes yeah, to cut stuff open. Really worked on the they smell so bad. They smell like I just stuck my face like in Avery's diaper. Okay, so yesterday this happened. Now that shot was taken at 67 yards and I bracketed my 40 pin because that's all I had was it came out here with a 20, 30, 35, and 40. I didn't have anything past 40. So I took a shot at that coos buck and he was 67, 67 yards and I just bracketed put my 40 pin where my 20 pin was on, on the body of the deer and then I moved up just a little bit and as you saw I 
shot kind of short. So right now, we are actually uh, trying to give me a point of reference for 60. I'm shooting at this dirt clump, this one right here, and that's where we're at. Cause, uh, well, you never know. I'm not gonna come back out here ever again to the Western states without being, have a pin all the way out to 70. That was, uh, that was dumb. I didn't know that though. Hey, lesson learned. We learned a lot of stuff yesterday. To be honest with you, it's been, it's been a good experience so far. One step closer to 60. Arrow, 60. Arrow, that dirt clump right there, 60. Is this good? Yeah, you were solid left and right. Oh, we're close, dude. It looked so money and then it just dropped. How did that drop like that? So we've got, just move it down a hair. Yeah. More hairs? More hairs. 100% the last shot. Here we go, getting dialed out. Field testing. Ooh, that was good. Money. It's money. That was cool. A little bit of wind. You're probably little right bit of wind. Yep, that wind left to right is all the wind, but man, you've been you've been dead center, yeah, right to left. It's perfect. Base. I think it's good. All right, boys, we're good. I know yep. that, that it brought I, it I, I'd much. call that uh, pin 55. 55? Yep. 55 cool. yard yeah, pin. 'cause because look, there's supposed to be water there and there's none. So far we've been to three tanks and only one tank has ever had water in it. And that's the one I sat this morning with no luck. <sighs> I still think those Havelina really blew all the deer out though. Because they were going crazy on a carcass. What's the plan? What are you thinking? I'm gonna go up here real quick. There might be a catchment. Looks like on Google Earth. Okay. I'll tell you guys right now, we're gonna stick with the whole water plane because I mean, I, I'm really like not kidding when I say this. Out here, there is zero water, it seems like. So they have to go to water at some point, especially when it's dry like this. But look at this. Talk about old. God, I wonder how old this is. Kind of crazy, actually. Things just randomly out here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> That's cool. Oh man, we're gonna find some water. We're gonna see some wildlife today. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Other than the javelina, I promise you. I got faith. PMA. Positive mental attitude, baby. Got it. You guys confident? Oh, I'm confident. feeling good. I'm feeling good. It's, I mean, it sucks that there's no water there, but once we find the water, we find the deer too. So yep. it's just a matter of seeing which one of these tanks actually have water in them. Water, we gotta find it. It's gotta happen. Googlers, you're failing us. Haven't lost faith though. Have not lost faith. Let's go ahead and give you a time check. That's not my watch. 12:30. 12:30 exactly. So we got about five, seven. Let me see, five and a half hours of good light left. Plenty of time. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but I don't know how we're gonna get in the back of the truck. I think you need to pull up some. You parked in a tree. Well, time check for you guys. It is now 1.30, 13.27 for all y'all military folk. <laughs> now, yeah, I still have it on my watch, I don't know why. Um, it's 1.27, but uh, we got a mm, solid five hours, maybe? No, 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 not five hours, we got four hours. The good thing is, if I don't kill a deer today, I still have a tag all year. So I can come back in August, and they'll be in velvet. I wouldn't mind having a coos deer in velvet. That'd be kind of cool. All right. As we're walking up, there's a giant coming in. Coming in. We gotta get to the water. Okay, they're coming in. Oh, I think I see what you're talking about. All right. We're coming down to this water that we have not been to. He hasn't been to since October. It was elk coming, I think. We're walking in, and we already spotted deer up on the yellow flat, so that's a good sign. Sight now, but we got water. Well, on a good note, Shed Crazy left me a seat. Shed Crazy left a, a squishy thing from a butt. Thank you, Shed Crazy. Now we just gotta really sit here and wait if a dude comes in. 55. Okay, this could be absolutely crazy if a deer actually comes in because we just sighted that thing in. But this is what we're looking at here, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of a blind setup. This is an old homestead right there. It's kind of crazy.
this nastiest smelling animal on planet Earth. GG, I'm like fart or whatever. Yeah. It smells so bad. It smells so bad. Like a mixture of like Avery's diapers and like a skunk just, just hit you right in the face. So bad. It was fun, a little tiny spot. There's an area where the homesteaders, I guess they used to be able to be a homesteader here back in like the early 1900s, late 1800s, something like that. Don't, don't quote me. We're gonna go take a gander at this old house and barn. Dude, that is cool, man. There's a little, there's an old Coors Light cap. Oh, look at this. That's crazy. <laughs> really cool. It's like troughs, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, for hay or whatever. That is freaking awesome. Call this uh, an abandoned building in the middle of nowhere. Oh, hey Arizona, your uh, weather changes from 55 to 30 <laughs> within like 30 minutes. <laughs> hey Ben, I got a meat sack for you. Oh yeah. There's a sack of meat. It's probably frozen by now. You think so? Nope. It's nice and cold. It's definitely I checked cold. it. It's, it's <laughs> heavily in a bag is what that is. These unimproved roads, you know, they're crazy. My wife was eight months pregnant. We hiked up the mountain. I mean, it took us all day to get up. And the bulls come down screaming. She had an early rifle bull hunt. I'm like, oh, this is sweet. We get there, she's all set up. And I give the camera to my father-in-law. I'm like, here's the camera. I was like, I was like, well, make sure you hit, you know, record whatever. The bull comes down, and I'm just helping her, coaching her, you know. The bull steps down, and I'm like, you on? She's like, yep, record. <laughs> and I'm like, Okay. And she drills it, just boom, hits the dirt, like, yeah. And then, you know, we're sitting there for a while, like a minute. And I go back over and I look at the camera and it's like not recording. And I was like, oh, he must have pushed stop. <laughs> so I go through the whole thing and he took a picture of it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, freaking hey. Yes. Oh, so good. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, I want to say thank you to these two gentlemen. It was really fun. This week was awesome. Eric from Hushin. He's wearing camo. You can never see anybody wearing camo. And then Ben, the guy that pretty much knows everything about Arizona in Arizona. He, he's the man. He is the man. <laughs> he is the man. Three. I held up four fingers when I said three. I got a three-hour drive on all the way back over to Phoenix. I love you guys, and I'll see you sitting back on my comfortable hotel couch. Come on. No. I want to throw it out there real quick. You guys see this? Oh, come on. Show it. Focus. There we go. Does that look like 210? Well, after I look at it, yes, it does. I thought it was 216. So I was trying to get into somebody else's room. That's really awkward because if they would have came out, I'd have been just like sliding real awkward like. Oh, God, sometimes I just do that. We, we call those Robinisms. No, I, I just made that word up. We don't, we don't call that at all. I, I, you know what? I'm good to go. It's been a long day. I got to see a lot of javelina. That the little end piece was actually kind of funny watching the little javelina just walk around just like doing their thing. They smell so freaking bad. You guys have no idea. We're sitting in a glorious hotel room. That is right. It's time for us to go back to Texas. I'm glad I got to hang out with Hushin and Ben. They're both awesome people. Love them both. Love them to death. We're going to be back. We're going to be back in Arizona in August. And we're going to be going after those velvet, velvet type. You guys don't know. Thanks for watching. I love you. I love you. I love you. And make sure to watch that video if you've not seen that one. Then click right below it. And then uh, watch that one if you haven't already. And you need to subscribe. I love you. Thanks for hanging out. And I'm about to disappear.